Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Yes, I'm only driving down our little road, that's why I'm doing this while I'm moving, but yes, it is Friday, New Year's Eve, so December 31st, and we're going to breakfast, because we don't feel like cooking. <laughs> Do we ever? Yeah, and I don't want some ratty ass Starbucks breakfast or McDonald's or anything like that. So we're going to First Watch Cafe, and I'm gonna get a big ass plate of crispy bacon. That's really blown out. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so yeah, who knows what else we're gonna be doing today, but let's go for a ride. Okay, so there's like a big, almost buzzardy bird up there. There's a couple over there. And this is about as close as I can get. I've got this zoomed all the way in with the clear image zoom. Hello, birdies. Okay, food was totally snarfed. It was delicious. Now I don't know what we're doing. I guess we're going home because we have food and it's not cold enough out to actually leave it in the car for any length of time. But there was a, all those damn birds over there and then she noticed that way off there's this big, what's that thing called? Silo? <laughs> dome. Some dome thing back there. There's like dozens of those birds. So I may actually grab the A7R4 with the 200 to 600 and come back and, and get some freaking pictures of them things because they're really cool and they're flying around. So I might actually get to practice my in-flight shots. This is just an aside. I'm just leaving now. I came back home. I grabbed my Sony a7R4 with the 200 to 600. And I also grabbed my 40 millimeter f2.5 just because it's a very similar day to yesterday. And maybe I might be able to go out and get some fog pictures like I wanted to yesterday without driving all the way to those places. But the reason that I'm recording this now is that I just passed this guy in his 70s. I'm going to guess. He stopped and kind of started bending over. And I was like, is he like coughing? Is he gonna puke? What the hell is he doing? So I kind of slowed down and then I got sight of him in my rear view mirror. That some bitch got down on the freaking sidewalk and started cranking out push-ups. I feel like a freaking chode. Well, that totally figures. Not a single damn bird was there. They were all gone. I'm not kidding you, there were dozens of those damn things when we were having breakfast. And I went home, grabbed my cameras, came back, all gone. So now I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna go because I think I need to take care of my eye bullshit first before I go around all over Timbuktu trying to find birds to take pictures of. So again, I'm gonna pull in here. I'm gonna see if this doctor is here. If not, then I'm just gonna drive to the mall and, and go to that uh, place that I went a, a few times ago and see what I can come up with. So let's, let's take care of some of that right now. All right, so this has been a whirlwind. Obviously, I just went to three ships and got bean. Theoretically, I went to the optometrist that the woman at Pearl suggested. It was closed. So, like I said, I wasn't going to dick around with that. So I went back to the lens crafters that I have gone to before, and they were open, and the optometrist was open, and she said that she couldn't, you know, they, they couldn't get me in today. And I said, well, that's fine because my insurance doesn't kick in till tomorrow. And I'm like, okay, we have like a ton of appointments available. I was like, oh, good. I gave her my insurance card and she couldn't bring it up. And she said, we, we're not in VSP. I'm like, seriously? So of course, because, you know, I could have gotten in, they didn't take it. She said, well, you can call them and ask them if they'll cover it or if they'll add us you know off network or you know to be just a little bit different pricing when i looked it was like you basically you have to pay for it and then i can put in a request to have some of it covered i wasn't going to dick around with that so to eliminate the bullshit, i just used the vsp site to find places that were in network i found another pearl vision on the oceana naval air station base exchange so I drove there. Their first available appointment is next Wednesday. I'm gonna be on the road. I'll never be back in time. So now I can't get an appointment until Monday, January 10th. Oh, the other thing I got was a, a new grill. We used our George Foreman grill a couple of times. It's tiny. It is a bitch to clean and you can't 
submerge it. You can't squirt. You're like, you have to be very careful because of the electrical components. And I didn't like that. So I bought one that, that's like probably three times bigger than a George Foreman grill. It is fully submersible and even dishwasher safe. So that was like a must for me. Hopefully this will work out good. I'm gonna go home and take this stuff home and all that shit. And then I might just have to go back out and, and get some more food to grill. Eh. I'm not gonna do a closing in my studio because there's no point and I've been doing that to death. Hope you all had a fantastic year, a fantastic Christmas. Hope you have a safe and happy new year, whatever it is you do for your New Year's Eve celebration. I'm gonna be choding on the couch, probably watching Cowboy Bebop. So that's all I've got for you. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.